state leaders and local health departments trying to reach the unvaccinated population. Well, lately it's been through big incentives like the state's vaccine lottery. 13 News reporter William Engel explains whether or not the new strategy is actually paying off. Since the first day COVID-19 vaccines were approved, health leaders were busy finding ways to get shots in people's arms. We really are trying to look at what's meaningful to people, and that will take, you know, I think we'll have to continue to do the analysis on this. The newest plan is to incentivize vaccination. We've seen it in the state's weekly vaccine lottery for vaccinated residents, and even local health departments like Winnebago County giving out gift cards to get people vaccinated. You know, people's time and their consideration of vaccination is an important, you know, subject. Um, and its value. And we wanted to give something of value to really recognize that. But so far, results at a local level are mixed when it comes to if incentives are working. We noticed um, on our event for Food Truck Tuesday, uh, we did incentives. And the days that we had incentives, our numbers were up versus the day that we didn't have an incentive. Especially the lottery, the statewide lottery. I mean, that's some significant uh, money. So it, it would certainly impact a some people, I think, but those who just are adamantly against it, I don't know that it's going to sway them. Whether it's new incentives or a different form of messaging, health experts say there's still a major sense of urgency to get people vaccinated. Because we really do need this, and Delta variant and uh, COVID in general is surging back. It's up 100% in almost every single state of this United States. For your 13 Weather Authority, William Ingalls, 13 News. And Martell also added that the Winnebago County Health Department will continue to plan out vaccine incentives in the coming weeks and months.